three years, I've had a couple million dollars worth of motorcycles, scooters, bicycles rolling in and out of my driveway. So my neighbors are a little bit jaded. It takes something really special to get their attention, and this was it. This bike is called the Picycle, and it's the second generation of an electric bicycle that was introduced two years ago, called the Electrobike Pi. That bike cost $7,500, which could explain why only 40 of them were sold. The Picycle, 2,500 bucks. This bike is billed as being able to handle a 25 degree grade, and I was pretty skeptical until I tried it. I just rode about a half mile, and it needs some assistance from the rider, and it's not a whole lot of fun on a hot day in leather, but it does it. I went up that hill three times in a row on a single charge, and there was still some juice left in the battery. This machine has an electric motor, but it is a bicycle, which means that most of the components are from regular bicycle manufacturers, including the brakes. The brakes are both operated with hand levers. The right lever operates the rear brake, which is the wheel that is powered with your legs, and the left lever puts the brakes on the front, which is powered with the motor. Going down that hill I was talking about earlier, I was a little worried about the brakes, but they handled it just fine. Although there was a little bit of a shimmy to them. The bicycle can go about 20 miles per hour and 30 miles on a single charge. It takes two and a half hours to charge, and it's powered with lithium ion batteries, which are stuffed into the very beefy backbone of the bike. Considering the batteries are up so high on the bike and they're so heavy, I would have expected it to throw off the handling, but this bike is pretty exceptional. There are three different ways you can operate this bike. Pedal power only, throttle with the motor, or a combination of the two. This is a thumb throttle, which is similar to what you would have on a quad, only you push here instead of down here like you would on an ATV. And I find that a little bit awkward because this is where your thumb normally is. Otherwise, you have to go like this or reach up and over the grip like this, which compromises your grip and therefore the control of the bike. The gear shift on this bike is an unusual inchabug system where you have to twist this ring on the grip so that you can either pedal harder or softer, depending on if you're going on flat ground or up hills. There is no suspension on this bike. It is entirely rigid. There's no hydraulic fork, no coil springs in the rear, nothing under the saddle. So when you're going over bumps, you just want to make sure you protect the family jewels and stand up on the pedals. Oh, the sacrifices we make for beauty. For the Los Angeles Times, I'm Susan Carpenter.